All right, now you can say it. Okay, Seagull Joe has the worst taste in music. I'm still gonna say it. I'm still gonna roast this man for his taste in music because Final Destination version two, it's okay, but like, if you don't pick Brawl Final Destination, what is wrong with you? I actually, I don't even remember what the song on the stage was. Besides, like, isn't Giga Bowser's stage on? Yeah, this song, this stage actually has a lot of songs. Uh, but regardless of that, um, we got Seagull Joe versus Dexter, and he, Dexter Seagull just died. Yeah, it, mm, that was actually the second most spectacular Diddy SD I've ever seen. Well, let's see if Seagull can top himself. <laughs> yeah, the bar has been set, Seagull Joe. Let's see what you do. You can only go up behind. <laughs> All right, but Diddy, um, still at this percent, he has no difficulty dragging on damage, so Seagull's not in a bad position just yet. Um, he's only really in a bad position until, like, if he doesn't get this uh, kill early and if he gets to, like, maybe 70, 80 percent, because Tipper Corn is not a thing you want to play with, with Rage. Yeah, it looks like that's just actually keeping in mind. Um, Diddy's fairy sucks for Corn very badly. So Dexter's actually it looks like he's just playing around that. He's just trying to stay in the air. He's trying to fare away from it. So why does Diddy's forward air suck for Corrin to that? Because Corrin still is a district. Because Diddy, Diddy's feet are a district. And a better one. Hey, man. I don't know. Probably the best forward air in the game, honestly. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's up there. It's up there. Uh, I think it comes out faster. Uh, most people don't oh, okay. realize. But there is some delay on... Uh, on uh, Corn's corridor coming out, like Mart's faster than it. Um, Diddy's definitely faster than it. Mm. So if they're both going up at the same time, you hit the button at the same time. Interesting, interesting. So I guess that comes down to more of a spacing battle. Yeah. Yeah, which uh, Dexter's actually not doing bad at, but Seagull Joe finally getting that kill, and he's not like in the worst position that he could be in. But um, he, I feel like to really safely win this, he needs again because the longer he actually plays around with Dexter, that's just more opportunities for Dexter just to tip and kill. And Dexter's spacing is too nice for that to like for for Joe to really uh, write off that off. I think that Dexter can do is just keep that banana away from him because if he can just keep the banana, force Joe to approach, then he still got a chance at this. Yeah, but now Dexter's feet just not touching the ground. That flip kick actually doing Seagull Joe a favor that time, getting him a bit of damage and getting him off save. And now this is the name of the game. Dexter just being juggled off save over and over. More feet, more feet. How will this happen? How will he get back on stage? Yo, yeah, watch this thing happen, though. Okay, and we have pretty much an even game. Joe fishing a little bit too hard for that force match. He gets that save position once again and actually has the lead after that SD. Looks like that um, water shot. Actually, just got him into the space in the living room. He was able to get it back. This quick kill. Oh, the rotation was just a little bit off, actually. That was crazy. The one thing I've seen uh, Dex do a lot is that he's just getting rid of the banana rather than taking it. Which is kind of hard because um, when you have a sword, it's actually a lot easier just to just get rid of the banana than mm -hmm. actually grab it. Because of how uh, the grab box for that is. It's actually kind of weird. Yeah, and also I imagine the disjoints will just neutralize it better. Exactly. Alright, but now the Nair has been sent up. And then, oh, Seagull Joe managing the air dodge to stay alive. Because up air definitely would have killed right there. And he looks at that 50 50. Dexter's smart, just jumping out. I think a throw from the Dexter could kill with all his rage right now. Center stage. And bad DI, but we're still alive. Avoids the banana. Gets trumped. This He's is not bad. Back. But Joe doesn't really punish it. You can stand up. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but... Is that a custom combo with the... that Custom combo or not, it was definitely true, it was creative. And now the stare down begins, 100% on both players. Back throw, Mike Hill, still alive, nice just barely. Nice DI from Dexter. Yeah, excellent DI. And now one, or just over a minute left on the clock. You cannot keep grabbing that ledge, Joe. Um, Joe doesn't do anything about it, but then this Has Mike Hill... Has he played Hill? Brawl recently? <laughs> Maybe. The mash was on point from Dexter, though. Keeping him alive. And the he just kicked oh. through Instapin. Kicked through Instapin. Wow. You remember what I was saying about how bad Diddy's bear is for this matchup? Yeah, that... Well, even at that percent, it's a spacing move and it's a killing move. That was a great option by Joe. Netting him that game, but just barely. Even after that really big SD. Mark was the top player right there. And the Roar is out to play. You see why he's doing this. Um, Dexter tends to bring out the Roy whenever he's 
in a matchup where he just needs to be faster. Corrin's biggest issue that people don't really capitalize on as much as that. He's, he's slow. Uh, I think before he hit that corn, the corn is being slow, but just like some of those hitboxes are just so big. They are. Yeah. But if you can just get in the face, which you don't actually have to do as good. You just have to have the banana. That's yeah. tough. But with... As long as he has the reads, those kills are going to come early. Yeah, getting the reads is the hard part, though. Yeah. Um, I feel like the neutral will play out like a, a lot different in this one. Um, I feel like you know Dexter's going to be a lot more comfortable in it, just staying grounded, dancing around, hitting with the side B, which covers directly in front of our boy. Not a lot of characters have an option like that. But now Joe's answering back with a little bit of damage. The big damage that uh, Joe's been getting is that he's just been juggling Dexter better than um, Dexter's been juggling here. The neutral, roughly equal to be honest, but Joe's just capitalizing a lot more. I think I'm seeing Joe doing. Actually, he's backing off a lot now. Did you, did you see that? That no. F smash was on point. He was about to let that rip, and he was one step further back. That would have been a brutal kill. But now, time to turn. He's in that edge guard position once again. And Joe's ledge play has not. It's like it's been okay for damage, but for killing, it hasn't been completely there. But hey, he's playing safe, and that's something that Diddy can do. Down tilt up smash, slap, 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 clap, clap, slap. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Alright, well. Single Joe answering back with a lot of damage. This is pretty much just straight unanswered damage, 61%. Roy might be fast on the ground, but he's still a fast baller, and that's free damage if uh, Joe knows how to capitalize, which he does. And a good. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see on the stage, actually. Yeah, Joe's looking hungry for this tournament right now. Down tilt forward air. Still more damage. And now, like, this match is looking pretty grim for Dexter, but I feel like he needs to start thinking ahead to game uh, number three. Because, like, Roy's strong, but... I don't think he has really the comeback potential to really make this happen, though, especially the way that Joe's been playing. Well, oh, I don't know if, like, he really feels comfortable with Korn in this. I think he's going to have to stick with him with uh, Roy. Uh, I feel like Korn's... I think he personally just doesn't like this matchup as Korn. Well, it's not going much better for Roy. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Might as well go with the one that you have more wins with. Or maybe... This is a shot in the dark here, but you think we'll see the Ness again? Or is that character just dead? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, we're, we're going back to Corrin. <laughs> yeah. I would actually love to see Ness here. I feel like the way that Joe's playing, it wouldn't have been an awful uh, pos like thing, because as long as you can nair and like up air and like force trades and maybe get a like grab early on, Ness isn't super bad. But if Joe decides to play safe, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. Once Corey's, Corey's big, biggest strengths, that's damage output. Yeah, it's, it's bonkers. I hate it. Like, once you're in the air, like, you better be good at air dodging. Alright, right, I guess the same thing you said about Diddy. Oh, yeah, Diddy's, like, honestly, one of the best characters in the game. That force smash should kill? Oh, good guy by Dexter. And also jumping a little bit. Uh, that probably actually saved him if he didn't uh, Oh, that oh, sucks. No. That arc on the peanuts was actually really good for covering his FD in that situation. Oh, but the up smash actually coming through. Rare move from Corrin, but when you see it hit, that actually sounded really far. One thing a lot of people don't know is that that up smash actually has near identical play data as the cheeks on it. Really? Yeah. Um, I believe the difference is the distance that it goes. Is, like, I think Corrin goes a little bit farther. And whereas cheeks is actually just um, invincible, Corrin's is just not. Okay, that makes sense. All right, but while we're talking about that, Dexter's actually doing a really good job bringing it back. Oh, oh. And, oh, that was a quick draw moment right there. If Dexter was a little bit faster, he would have been safe. I'm not sure how much faster he could have been, because he definitely pulled that trigger as soon as um, like the pin went down. All right, but now, he's doing better than um, he was with his Roy last game. Like, if he just gets this kill pretty soon... But Dexter, or um, Seagull Joe, excuse me, actually managing to stay smart, just holding that shield, and he is on a tear right now. Seagull Joe just wants to hit some buttons. He's just keeping the pressure up. 
Corrin needs to be able to have enough space to do something like that in order to have a chance at this. Yeah, and also, oh, good read. Nice. Good read. I don't think Dexter went for a trump the whole get, uh, like the whole set so far, so that was just a hard read from him. Bit of damage. He's actually baiting in uh, Seagull a bit more with his spacing than last game. I mean, now he is, yeah. I mean, he's looking a lot better for it, but it might be too little too late. This is already game number three, and even if um, Dexter wins this, he, says he still forfeited his counterpick advantage for the last two games. So, like, this is hard. This is really hard, but Dexter still might be able to do it, but it's tough. And now at 108%, down throw up smash might start to um, kill. Good near out shield. Wait, down throw up smash. Oh, from Diddy. Diddy. Yeah, from I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yep, and that should be it. The last, the closing window of the true up throw up air. She was just going to take that 30 and a handshake. What the fuck does 30 and a handshake mean anyway? 3-0 and handshake. Oh, okay, now yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Survival!